everyone and welcome back. So it's Monday, which means it's time for Strange New Worlds. Now, the last episode of this was a riot. It was one that probably got one of the highest uh, interactions on my channel um, for any kind of video because, uh, of course, it was the crossover between Lower Decks and Strange New Worlds. We had a lot of different theories from different people, as well as myself. And just the, the story continues in the comment section. And it's so great. The people are, are, are so passionate. And it was just an amazing episode, let's be honest, on all fronts. On whatever side you sit on, it was just such a good episode. And I really enjoyed it. So let's hope that Strange New Worlds Season 2 continues just as good as that one. Let's get on to episode eight. Is a Klingon. A former general who defected to our side. Okay. So a few things here. The first thing is, it's a proper Klingon. <laughs> Anyone that saw Discovery and remember Discovery, Jesus Christ. But um, yeah, it's that's that it looks like a Klingon. I'm so glad, given that this is a uh, a um an offshoot from Discovery, it is, it surpassed it so many times over, where they just got the Klingons wrong. And yes, the Klingons have had different looks over the over the years, blah, 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 but that looks like what we know as a timeline Klingon, um, and that's fine. They also retconned as to why um, the original series Klingons didn't look the right way, so it's all being kind of sorted, but I'm so glad that looks like an actual Klingon. Um, they did on, on the plants we've seen them before, but I'm just very glad of that. Um, also, uh, just for anyone that's wondering, if you look in the description of this and on the description of the uh, channel as well, I do now have a Shopify up. Uh, currently, it is just um, the channel logo that's on the products, but hopefully by Wednesday at the latest, the look at that um, images will be on there. I will have some made specifically, and it will be with the whole meme of me doing the look at that, and that will be on t-shirts and hoodies and stuff as well. So, hey, if you like that stuff, go and check it out. But, um, yeah, I'm, uh, this was going to be interesting as well. I mean, look at, look at La'an's face there. I've said this a lot on, on, um, Strange New Worlds, more than any other, um, show, uh, or film or anything I've ever done. But the facial acting on Stranger Worlds is impeccable. And look at that. Just the slightly clenched jawline, the piercing eyes. Even Una looking a little bit more annoyed than usual. But it is so, so good that. Um, it's going to be an interesting one. I'm so glad it looks like a real Klingon. But it's going to be a very interesting one. Having a Klingon. Because this is not long after the Klingon War. Like really, really soon this is set after the Klingon War. Five. The siege at Starbase Zeta Athos. It's okay. You're right. This is definitely something that's going to be permeating through the crew. Interesting because because of the fact that he is seemingly the main focus of this episode, I can see it going one of two ways. Either it is a long con, which I, I don't know, I'd find strange. Um, or, and I potentially more likely, he's about to get assassinated by one of them. Not one of them, but maybe someone on the crew or someone they're about to go and see. But I, I can understand as to why this is, you know, a lot of people obviously were not happy about um, uh, some people from different countries working for uh, allies after the first and second, well, specifically Second World War. Um, but it's, it is very, it is a very hard situation for those that obviously fought in those wars. But yeah, this is definitely kind of the early days of Star Trek because we have a, we? I'm not part of Star I am. I'm part of Star Trek. But like in the later years, obviously it's the relationship between Klingons and Starfleet is much better. Even even when it's not. Like in the in the Gem when the Jem'Hadar were around and they were were they were doing that in, in those kind of uh, conflicts, even then the thought of Klingons was much nicer. That you know, they're still they're still looking for honour and things like that. But at this point and, and much of old Trek, it is the kind of, no, Klingons are the enemy. So, interesting. Okay, so I appreciate this, that we're actually going to get an explanation, like, set there. You don't really get this a lot of the time, you just kind of get the stories. The idea that we're getting it from first hand is very different. No. I should report in. That's you. Congratulations, Head Nurse Chapel. Thought so. I just got here. 
but you got the most experience of anybody on the staff. Okay, so we're really seeing the kind of a little bit at least of the the hell that they went through and her just turning up and immediately oh my god i'm i'm, I'm in charge what the fuck is this um i, I like the, the the buck character because there's always one in every kind of war film in every kind of situation like that there's always an older guy that oh well i can sort it out you know i'll, I'll hit it a few times it's, it, he 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 it's very much a trope that he's embodying there but i i like the fact that we're truly engaging with the past here showing what really happened to them because you know we've been given a lot more character especially um on nurse chapel than we knew already and it's just really it's really padding it out a lot more and potentially as to why she is now so friendly and then in you know um the original series even more friendly because there's potentially a lot that has to kind of be wiped from her waking memories last transport so we have direct orders klingon war veterans need to interact with Ra. we have to make them feel welcome here and Come on, team. he's in cardiac arrest we're losing him random stimulation erica Everything all right? No. The butcher of Jagal is in there and everyone's acting like he's the freaking Dalai Lama. It's General. Ambassador Ra has genuinely reformed. No, he's pretending. I sense it. And I... I like that. There is a chance that he is genuinely reformed, which, you know, we can hope. But it's it's amazing because, of course, his moments, are, his comments a few moments ago it's amazing that he can still have that forethought to be like, okay, something could have changed. It's in, it, like, he has an amazing fortitude of mind, I think, of many of the characters. And we're learning that more and more and more as the as the series um, goes on. A compliment. If you would shut up for one second about all this amazing peace he's managed. Mm. I can't. Why is it so hard to explain to people who weren't there? I think that is the issue for anyone when it comes to mental health of any kind. Trying to explain issues of mental health to someone that doesn't experience the, that mental health issue. And that's even somebody that has the same. So somebody with depression, explaining their, their form of depression to somebody with depression is still difficult. Trying to do that when you can't show your mind, and even if you did, would never be able to truly understand your mind is a problem that I think um, we kind of would all have. And it's very difficult. It's why the issues in mental health continue. It's why they're so so um, pervasive into people's hearts because we just don't have that ability to truly encapsulate who and what we're going through and who and what we are. The wire. One knows his stories. Most hand-to-hand -hand kills confirmed. I'm just a doctor now. Most hand-to-hand -hand kills confirmed. Just a doctor. Oh my God, it, it feels like we need to go back again another few years to see what he used to be then. So in the and was that from the Klingon War? So he was. So he was suffering some form of PTSD. It would appear anyway, and I won't assume at least on that on that front during the klingon war to then be kind of doubled up a lot like i suppose um anyone that fought in the first and second world war um kind of that double up of who you are that's got to be tough to go through i mean and it, it, it's also really nice to see um them fully engage with um areas of mental health in star trek um We've we've seen as much from from Mariner in the uh, in last week's episode on Lower Decks about her um, her issues and her survivor's guilt almost from from her friend from the academy and that that's played a part in her um, ups and downs of her kind of constant want for 
who she truly is within Starfleet. And then we're seeing it here within Benga. It's really nice to see. If anyone doesn't know, one of the things I, I, I do, and I do have a channel, I, I run a mental health charity. So um, seeing this is... It, 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 it makes me a little bit more... Um, a little bit more confidence that we're actually going in a better direction. The story about what you had to do to escape? Wow. Okay. They are, they're, they're full on just going, you know what? We're going to kind of out you here, which if he's truly reformed is going to be cathartic for them <laughs> at least and uh, not destroy anything. But you can see that looking back. And Bengu is always a little bit reserved, a little bit, you know, like that but there's there's definitely a look from him and again i've said this before the facial expressions the facial acting on strange new worlds is impeccable um, it's so nice to see Ooh, yeah it's uh one it's nice to see um more about otagus we're understanding more and um I remember uh, last week, actually, Boimler said that she was a war hero. Maybe she's a war hero from the Klingon War, not one to come, which is what I assumed. Um, but also, his wording there, for an, for an ambassador that's done peace talks, not the best. Someone that needs healing like you is an assumption of their need over just being angry. It's an assumption that you're making about their state and a need for healing when they may not see any need for healing. They are justified in what they believe and everything else. So, but, oh, okay. Doctor, maybe you should check on Erica as well. Temple might need a hand contact. All right, Captain. Nicely done, Pike. He got some understanding there. Oh. Your security officer, Laan. She tells me that the two of you are practicing full impact, Mokbara. And I was wondering if we might arrange a session. I'll check my schedule. Now, this could be. Oh, I don't know, there's going to be people going, well, you just watch it and find out. I, I, yeah. React and review. I'm not a React channel. I'm a React and review channel. Um, so that's very interesting. It could be that it, oh, if we give this guy the benefit of doubt, he may be doing this to give um, Mbenga the catharsis of beating the shit out of him. Genuinely could be that he's like, you know what? I know something that may help him is to be able to to hit me to be able to have that release it is possible if that's the case direct but potentially helpful lieutenant Ra'al trask special forces just got orders for the entire outfit just heard the whole stinking thing my heart my soldier doc it is interesting with this, with Mbenga as well, because I'm pretty sure he, I don't know if he's had any um, direct interaction with any conflict. He may have done. I don't know. But I know that he is a fighter. He's a, he's a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and I'm pretty sure he's a champion in some, um, in some form. He's, he has won tournaments. So he is, he, is a, he is a martial artist. So it's interesting that they've, they've added that. I wonder... I wonder whether that was part of his character before they cast him or they already had that in mind when finding someone to cast. Someone that could be realistic in their ability to fight. Now, obviously, it's it's not the same and it's, you know, it's very much set for stage and everything like that. But it's but there's still a, an interesting thing to have in there as an added point. That's actually really good from Spock. Um, I mean, I mentioned earlier, but I uh, didn't think he'd be great at it, but he can still understand when somebody's in distress. And they are together now. It's quite nice to see that. It's just how the hell do you help when you can never understand? 
I'm more virile than I appear. So before I see them do anything, I really hope that there's some catharsis in this. I'm hoping that he's done that for a reason, but I don't know. And he's described as Klingon judo there, and his background being Brazilian jiu-jitsu. This definitely makes sense for them to do something. The combat veterans on the ship, they look up to you at those atrocities. You against the Klingon warriors. Impressive. Who fought the hardest? Almost enemy, but witnessing so many nameless victims, I had to fight on. So if, it, if it's true what he's saying, then he really wasn't behind it all. Transgressions. Kiff didn't fight the hardest. It was Captain Release. He didn't kill his own men. And Benga killed them. Well, Jesus Christ, I kind of thought there was something off about that um the images that were there. Because it it didn't, it looked too slim to be him. But I just I don't know. It uh, it was years ago. But it was Mbenga. Mbenga was the one. Oh my God! If he'd have been honest, so that that was me thinking that actually him remembering who fought the the hardest whatever would be good. But no, he lied. If he'd have just said it wasn't me, I didn't do it. Maybe there's something. But he's he's fabricated the past to try and make himself feel better, which is what Mbenga. Oh. You helped me back while you made your escape. I told you I was there. He was really there. I am the butcher of the gods. Jesus. Be undone. You never paid for what you did. You mm. I said no. Don't be stupid. Okay. The whole thing. Ra wanted to talk, but Joseph was done. He told Ra he didn't want to be involved. The war criminal. Hearing that set him off. I can't believe he would do something like this. Is it? Ra was living a lie. I saw his true face. What if I told you he murdered children? Not his men. He did it. What if I started the fight then? The Federation believes that everyone deserves a second chance. What about justice? What about the victims? Doesn't everyone deserve to pay for their actions? See who decides. Hmm? Who pays and who gets redemption? Where's the line? <laughs> this is an eternal um, debate over this, especially in international politics and international debate. 
of the idea of what justice truly is. That's why we have things like the Hague and um, you know the international courts. And the problem is, is that no matter what, no side has seen it. Obviously, in this case, Mbenga has. But knowing someone's heart, understanding the pain, understanding what happened in, in that moment, it's why the the debate, the international um, consensus is is torn on what should happen with things like this. I'm grand. Okay, so that's a heavy episode. It's a very heavy episode. And I think it's actually a testament to the writing and to the actors that they managed to do that with some grace given that it is, at the end of the day, it's a sci-fi show. You know, it's, it, it's a, uh, it can be fun, it can be not, but it's, you know, it's, it's, it's fiction. It's, meant to be a bit more disconnected and that episode managed to make it feel very very real now i don't know the actor's background and ben i know that he's you know like i say i know that he's um former champion in some way in brazilian jiu-jitsu i know he's originally from uh, lagos in kenya um that's where my knowledge of him kind of ends um he pretty much came under my radar with strange new worlds and um the story um with alan richardson where they are um uh ungentlemanly uh, warfare i think is what it's called or something like that um maybe there's more to his to, to him as to why he was so good at it, i don't know but i think from my knowledge which of course is again very limited it's um it's not a knowledge of, of understanding this this PTSD or anything like that but they seem to deal with that subject incredibly well and to deal with that overall impact on people's lives on people's minds on everything in, incredibly well um, it was an interesting twist at the end there to find out that there's more even more about Mbenga and the reason that potentially such a good doctor and that he's so calm and collected is that there's a serious pain that is in his heart that he's you know this so-called butcher of Jigal that they thought the Klingon was so it's there's a, there's a lot more to that character a lot more to a lot of them and I think that's uh that's actually good for the, for the series and potentially good for people that are going through stuff as well um as I say if there is anybody that that can Put a bit more light maybe your ex service or something feel please feel free um and also don't feel that you're pressured into that but uh it'd be interesting to know how well they've truly done in this episode from somebody that understands it at least more to their incorrect interaction with it than from myself who obviously does not um but from my perspective at least with my interactions with general menu general mental health as well is that they've done pretty well there, um, especially for the type of show it is. It's uh, surprising and it's, it's good to see. Um, definitely not an episode I expected, especially after last week. Um, maybe I would have potentially mixed uh, those two around. I would have potentially had last week's episode after this one to be a kind of comic relief, but there you go. Um, very interesting episode, very tough one, but uh, yeah, they're still doing incredibly well with this show and I think the fact that you can mix between last week's episode and this week's the fact that you can interact with it so well and have those um, facial cues everything in it is is amazing says a lot about the actors and a lot about the writers as well but I hope you've enjoyed that um, as I say I've got some stuff out the the, the Shopify thing is below um, and I'll hopefully have the look at that um, merchandise out as well soon but uh but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you on Wednesday for some lower decks. Thanks everyone.